Pops. Oh, also, I'm in Florida, so that's why this is the setup, and hopefully it's not as echoey. I am so sorry, my past videos have been so echoey, and uh, you guys definitely told me about it, so thank you for that. Um, oh. So, I saw a video in my recommended, well, okay, I saw two videos, I'm pretty sure this girl did it first, but this is the one that popped up in my recommended, and the concept is basically you spend the same amount of money at two different stores. And I think I've seen the one mostly from Brandy Melville and then thrifting, but recently my friend told me about, you know those like really popular fluffy jackets or like poopy jackets? She said that she saw some at Walmart that were really good quality, so it sparked something into me that I've seen those same fluffy jackets at Urban Outfitters. So what if I spent $100 at Urban Outfitters and then $100 at Walmart, and then we put the two head to head and and see how much money I've been wasting at Urban and if Walmart, we should give it a chance, you know? They might have some really good stuff. So, take these half socks off. First of all, I went to Urban Outfitters to start this journey and let's get this red. What were you doing today? Good. I'm looking for one of these fluffy guys. This is not even that soft. I'm having hormonal acne. take long because there's only so much you can buy from Urban with only $100. And if you don't know what Urban Outfitters is, it's a very trendy place, but it is so expensive. So since I directly wanted to compare two fluffy jackets, that was my first goal was to get a fluffy jacket, all of the ones that they had there were a minimum of $79, which only left me with about $20 left to spend on one more item. So I got the fluffy jacket, and then the rest of my time there was spent wandering around trying to find an item that was $20 or less. It was really eye-opening because it was really hard to find something under $20. I feel like the minimum there is $29 until, well, we'll get into that later. I did find something that was $20, but it was not favorable. And then we went to Walmart. So I ended up with two items, two, from Urban Outfitters for $100. I got two items. And about seven to eight from Walmart. Let's just get right into it, all right? Starting off with Urban Outfitters, <clears throat> my receipts came to $105.93. So I ended up actually going over $100 by basically $6 for two items. So first off, I got this beautiful fluffy jacket. It's really soft and really cozy and really on trend. Ha! Gotcha. This is from Walmart. Ha! This was $12 at Walmart. Can you believe that? That's pretty good. I'm going to be judging these items on <sighs> quality and trendiness. Now this feels basically identical to the one that I got from Urban. And this is $12. Now, it's not as trendy, I will have to admit. The little front part is a little odd. This part, I think you just kind of like flip it over. The cut is a bit strange, I'll give it that. But overall, I would wear this. This is, this, this is good for $12. So I gave this one a four out of five for quality and a three out of five for trendiness. This is 
the one I got from Urban. Let's not lie to ourselves. This one is definitely prettier. It's a lot, a lot more trendy. But you know, this is Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is kind of known for like starting the trends, whereas Walmart will just kind of like take them and recreate them in a cheap way, which they didn't do a bad job of. This is one from Urban. It is cute. It is great quality. The pockets are huge and there's huge pockets on the inside. The pattern is beautiful, but it is $80. I think you're better off at Walmart on this one. I'm gonna be honest, so. Walmart's winning so far, guys. I don't know. Now this bad boy got a 5 out of 5 from the quality and a 5 out of 5 on the trending. Next up, I got this for $20. This is quite literally in the entire store. This was a big urban outfit. This was the only thing that I could find for $20 exactly. Now, this is something that I usually don't wear. Um, yeah, it's tiny. I was so confused as to what it was. It is a high neck, meshy, ribbed material crop top of sorts and you know as someone who doesn't like their arms this just wasn't it for me quality is pretty good i was so uncomfortable the whole time worrying about my side boob and also that weird piece of flap of skin between your arm and your boob i just i don't want people to see that you know like i just i'm sorry it's just that's just my preference and this was just a no-go for me it wasn't that bad i like the color black so i can give it that if this is your style go for it but the fact that this was quite literally the only thing that i could find for 20 dollars or less was so eye-opening because you cannot walk into that store and leave spending less than thirty dollars that was a big eye-opener for me now this one only gave three out of five on quality and two out of five on the traininess so since I got a black tank top from Urban, I thought I would get one from Walmart. So, um, this is the closest thing I could find at Walmart. It's $1.68, and this really just wasn't it for me either. The quality is not that bad, but the fit was bad, and the sizing was just weird. It was, like, too big for me in some spots and too small in others, and I don't like these regardless. Like, even if Urban Outfitters made one of these, I probably wouldn't like it. So is this really fair? Not really. So really both places loss on that one. If we had to choose one, obviously it would be Urban. Who even wears camis, you know? Actually, I shouldn't say that. If you wear camis, I'm sorry, but I just don't understand how anyone could pull these off. I mean, I know I can't, and that's, I mean, that's not really saying much, but. Oh, by the way, we're only on Walmart stuff now because that's literally all I got from Urban, so. Now this one got a one out of five and half a Haley. Now this bad boy, this fluffy, beautiful green sweater was $9.96. I got it in a large, so they run pretty small. And at first I wasn't that impressed, it kind of looked cheap. But as soon as I tucked it in, oh boy, it looks so hipster. <laughs> I'm sorry for you saying hipster, I know that's cringy. But the sort of hipster style nowadays are clothes that look cheap. And this is cheap. Oh my gosh, I don't know, it just looks so good. As soon as I tucked it in, I was like, you could literally sell this at Urban Outfitters and no one would know. And the fact that it's $10. $10. That's crazy to me. I love this. I'm probably gonna keep this, honestly. Like with some mom jeans tucked in, maybe at a belt, some hipster little shoes. You got a really good outfit. So this big old thumbs up for me. Who is calling me? Extended warranty. You should have received something in the mail about your car's extended warranty. Warranty. Uh, this baby got three out of five on the quality and a four out of five on the trendiness. Now this bad boy, this is a good old beanie. 288. You know what? We saw some of these at Urban that were selling for $24. Wow. Ryan, don't listen to me film. Sorry, just said that. Now this paired with the jacket and some mom jeans, that's like what all the teens are dressing like nowadays. And for what? This together is like maybe $12. That's insane. I'm keeping both of these things, honestly. That was great. Beanie baby got a four out of five and another four out of five. Okay, now here's where we start going a little downhill. I wanted to try some jeans from Walmart, you know, wanted to give them a chance. Um, just out of pure curiosity. And, uh, <laughs> well, the jeans I got were way too small because apparently I don't know how to buy jeans that are my size ever. But I have a theory if I got them in my size, they really wouldn't be that bad. They don't really look that cheap. And in fact, they almost kind of look like my American Eagle jeans, which kind of sucks because these were only $17 and the ones from American Eagle are like 60. So if you can find some jeans in your size, I feel like they wouldn't be that bad. But bad on my end, because I don't know what size my body is, because I'm a growing girl. This sad pair of jeans got a 1 out of 5 and a half Haley. 
<sighs> okay, I didn't want to buy this, but Ryan said I should, so I tried making an outfit, but I ended up looking 60 years old. And 60 is being generous, like, come on, I look real old wearing this outfit. This sweater was $9.96, same price as this one, but this one just feels awful. It's very scratchy, smells like it came straight from the factory, the design is not that great. On a little old woman, she might look precious in it, I just couldn't pull it off. I, I can accept that. Those two were just a no. And the sweater got a sliver of my face and just, it's just not trendy. And then I thought, you know, just for science, how good are Walmart leggings? They're really bad. These were $5.94. These ones were too big. Okay, I just hit myself in the face with them. These ones were too big. The jeans were too small. Sizing there is just difficult, you know? And that might be bad on my end. They're just bad. We all knew Walmart leggings were just gonna be a no, so. Uh, yeah, I think we all know these just don't deserve anything, so just don't, just don't buy Walmart leggings. This is amazing. This was $20. I can't believe I've never gotten a onesie from Walmart. They're so cozy and soft, and hey, I mean, I look great. Do you see the tail on that thing? So this one gets a 5 out of 5 and uh, the entire bag! And the last thing that I got from Walmart. This is the Zuru X Shot. Got it in the checkout line and we, we're gonna try it. Ow. Hey. <laughs> it works! <laughs> All right, and then this is the last thing I got from Walmart. So final review, Urban Outfitters is so overpriced, which we already knew, but it really opened my eyes when I couldn't find a single thing under $20. Now Walmart, I've never given her a chance. Well, I haven't in like 10 years. But I haven't given her a chance in a long time, and some of the things we got were so good. The fluffy jacket, the green sweater, and the beanie were all great. And they honestly look like they could be from Urban Outfitters, but they were a fraction of the price. I hope you guys enjoyed my fashion experiment. Don't know if you guys a lot of you guys know this, but I'm actually really into fashion. So if you want me to do another fashion experiment, then let me know what I should do next. It could be anything. I don't know. Just leave a comment if I should do another one of these or where they should be from or what it are you, you know. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going nowhere with that sentence. If you like the video, I make them every single Fam Friday, so if you would like to be notified to come back whenever I do, you can click the subscribe button to join the family. Get it? Because my last name is Fam, and then Illy is like, I love you, but then it's also like family. Like, it's just, it's triple meaning, okay? It's kind of, it's, it's cheesy. I, I also have an Instagram, I have a Twitter. Oh, I have a vlog channel, and I do lots of vlogs on there. I actually just uploaded a vlog that was kind of uh, related to one of my main channel videos, so if you wanna go see that, it is on there. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next Fam Friday. Bye! Turn it all.